Rumours were flying today that Campbell Newman is considering a return to political life. His closest confidants say the former Premier was considering standing for the now vacant federal seat of Brisbane. But it seems one of the biggest obstacles to the plan could have been close to home. Driving off into the political sunset or keeping the motor running for a comeback. It was a day of will he or won't he? I've spoken to Campbell. He's, he's certainly weighing up uh, the possibility. Uh, he certainly hasn't ruled it out. I think, um, you know, he's, he's, he's got a lot to give. Biographer Gavin King said the man who tackled City Hall then one term in state politics was working out whether he can do Canberra too. He was approached uh, with a couple of phone calls last night, a couple of federal MPs, a couple of executive uh, party executive members uh, called him to say, look, would you consider it? I think this is the LNP's best plan since Joe for PM. But late today, Mr Newman reportedly confirmed he'd decided against the move based on his business commitments and his wife Lisa's very firm views. I was too scared to ask what uh, Lisa's reaction was. Um, I know that she's, you know, been incredibly happy to uh, uh, to have her husband back for the last uh, 14 months or so. The rumour mill has been in overdrive today that another former Premier, Peter Beatty, is also eyeing off the federal seat of Brisbane. But Mr Beatty has told Seven News he's no chance of running and he's very happily retired. A serving army major is Labor's pick to do battle for the seat, tipped to go up against the National Retailers Association well, Chief Trevor Evans. Well, I don't think it matters what face they put on it. It's the policies that matter. A race that Campbell Newman seems set to watch from the sidelines. Katrina Blowers, 7 News.